Jay Red, why are you not wearing red? All the shops in my area didn't have any red cards. <laughs> Jay Red, why aren't you really wearing red? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's seriously it. Obviously, I've got red cards at home, but I don't, I don't like wearing the same shit. You're going to change your name? No. Jay Red, what's your favourite colour? <laughs> is it red? <laughs> really? All right, so J Red, on that on that on that note, like what what came first? Because everyone's at when well, I say everyone, I mean I've been thinking about this a lot. No one else has asked me at all. But like, what came first? Did you start wearing red and then start rapping, or did you call yourself J Red and then be like, I'm gonna wear red to go with? Which way did you go around? No, like, obviously I was called J Red first, and then well, not obviously. That's why I asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I wore a couple of red garments for some of them, and then people started to click on and shit. So I just thought, yeah, I might as well. J Red, do you want to wear Bam Lam's jacket? <laughs> You're going to be more nervous battling in front of that many people at this event, or is it the same as when you try that? Um, I don't, I don't find it. I don't get as nervous battling as I do just doing like poetry stuff. Oh, really? Why is that? Because I think that uh, the stuff I write for poetry is a lot more like serious and personal, whereas this is kind of a lot more like higher. So okay. I don't really worry too much. I'm not really worried about like choking or. Anything else. When me and Harriet talk about it, when me and Deepak Fog talk about it, we talk about how like we don't want to drop. We don't want to do like homophobia bars, I'm going to do bars, we don't want to do bars about your mum or your girlfriend or anything. And so the structure of like writing our bars is actually quite difficult. Um, and like I feel like a lot of other women feel that like, like when, when you watch a lot, a lot of don't flop videos and you're like a queer woman, it can get really boring I and mean, then people just like slag off women and gay people. <laughs> How have you felt about coming on a big event? That's why I've got you all up here at the same time because you're all new. It's a really, really big event. It's a big part of our year and we've obviously uh, you can tell obviously that the staff are rating all you three because we put you on the card. So have you prepared any differently with your bars? Have you stuck to what you've done normally or how have you approached this thing? You know what, like, to be honest, like, I've been following Don't Flop for a while, even, you know, obviously a long time before I sort of get involved. This is like one of the biggest UK versus UK cards I've seen. Like, mm. it's obviously an honour, like, to be part of it. And for me, it's just like, I don't want to change too much. You know, it's, it's a stage and I like that it's a stage event. I'm not sure if it will be, it's a pit, either way, if it's a pit or a stage, it's loads of people and it's like, same, like, not in battle rap, in through like spoken word, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm used to that environment as well, of being on a stage mic'd up and that kind of shit. And I'm actually looking forward to trying it like that. I think like, it, it, there's more you can add performance wise. Um, and you've got the space, like, I've seen a lot of guys um, at the last event, the Checkpoint event, you think of like Willsey. These kind of guys who are like you know using the stage well and and mm. kind of performing and I'm kind of looking forward to that side of it. Bar wise, probably not too much different, but okay. performance wise, it adds a lot of potential, I think. And what about you, Ben? Yeah, like I've been following the flop, like Graf said, and it's a good accomplishment that they've achieved as well. And us being able to perform on a big stage, I plan to keep the things similar to how I've been doing. Stick to the script in terms of the battle mm. and. Only thing differently will be using the space, like Croft said as well, like just maybe being able to manoeuvre in that space and engaging with the crowd. What about you, bro? I'm, I suppose I'm basically just trying to do what I'm doing, but better, really. I mean, obviously it is a, like biggest event I've done, biggest opponent I've had, but on while on the day it matters and because the crowd is there, when it's happening it matters. As far as most people watching the battles and watching them online. And it's almost more about the progression and the rewatchability and stuff. So I'm basically, I mean, I, I have, feel like I've got my strengths in some of the angles I take, the clowning kind of stuff. I'm trying to make my punchlines more of my serious bars kind of hit harder and be a bit cleverer and stuff. But really, it's just kind of building what I've done already. I feel fairly comfortable whatever kind of room I'm in. So it's more about just making sure that not only can I do that, but just make it sort of rewatchable and entertaining for wherever it's being watched, I guess. What is it about no, RD's first round that got you so act like caught She's up. so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your first round about? What was it about? Um, so anyone who hasn't seen the battle? Well, <laughs> in a context of a battle, it was sort of a breakdown on what feminism is, okay. why I think it represents, and what liberals represent in the party, in my opinion. And okay. that it was obviously in the context. <laughs> 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 well done, Danny! <laughs> 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 hold it down, hold it down. In, in, 
in the context okay. of the in the context of battle as well, because obviously it's about yeah, of course, the embellished right? certain. So it's an ex- it's an extended version as well. It was sort of about you know using that and then saying you know actually being a female can be advantageous, such okay. as getting Pedro in your first battle. That could okay, be, you know Sorry. what I mean. So I was trying to use that a bit and do a little bit of a interesting, unique angle. And to be honest, I think it came off. It got into like top five rounds in a month. Now, I got a lot of critical acclaim. Got all like, you get me like, okay. All when all the top comments are about that. So like, then, right, I think so you got to stop and say so actually is, that's not my opinion. But so is a Danny, lot of people agree. You get me? So is, is Danny is Danny correct in saying that you found it offensive or, or what? Because I'm I'm not really up with this. So what? Yeah, is well, he right in saying that or? Yeah, because basically I just feel like if you're gonna like call yourself a feminist, then you can't be contributing to like systems of oppression that are put in place to make women feel like shit. If you're gonna stand in front of me and say, I can't tweet about having sex or talk about having sex, I'm gonna I'm tell you you're not a feminist. And if you're gonna completely dismiss like reclamation of language and like people like me using the words like slut and dyke and saying that, that that's then my fault when other people say it back to me in a, in a different term, then I'm gonna tell you, you ain't a feminist. You ain't, I'm gonna call you. Sunburn 2 press conference. Yeah, it's true, it's true. We can talk about Sunburn 2, but I'll go on to it a little bit. What I say after the battle, we were hanging out, it was fine, you know what I mean? I think the more a lot of people sort of agreed in my first round, the more it kind of got to you. I think if I'm honest, like, you've got to sort of, it comes to a point where you've got to just sort of let it go, like, you know you got Jay Red to focus. Like, to, honest, like, so strong. Well, it's not, you know what I mean? I spat that in my first round, right? I spent my first round. It's good, it's very well written. You get it's just not shit. Said, I <laughs> so the question on everyone's lips is, are you gonna do a two on two? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be I'd be up for it, but I don't think Liv would. So you two in the middle, because you haven't lost at all, does that make you like, oh shit, I'm on a massive event, I can't lose full stop, or does it just or are you more kind of like, well I've bodied everyone else, it's another name on the list? <laughs> you know what, like personally, like I'm just a competitive person, like straight up. If I do something I wanna be good at it and better than who I'm facing it, you know what I mean? It's just like the way I am, like, I think me and Jay Short are gonna get this battle judged, just gonna be both, you know, fancy cool. like, you know what I mean? I like the fact that, I know it's not like, I like non-judged battles as much, but personally, as a fan before that, I always love watching judge battles, seeing like people's records, that kind of stuff, and right. that's been like someone was on the line. So as a battler, I sort of want to <laughs> battle the way I would like watching it, and so I kind of want to get mine judged for that okay. reason. But, and how about you, Russ? Your opinion? Yeah, I'll just step into the ring with the mindset to win, regardless of like what oh, event it is and that's yeah, it. Right. It's like the same thing, the same thing goes, like we're just getting there to do our thing, but like looking to come out the winner regardless. But um, the opponent I've got Jay Dillon, he's really, really, really good at what he does as well. So I'm skeptical going into it, knowing that it's not going to be a clean streak. Because like, okay. yeah, he's so won a shitload of battles. Yeah, exactly. So. But Liv, I wanted to ask, because uh, this is going to be your third battle, and obviously going to be a third dude you've battled. So I'd like to ask you, would you ever have an interest in battling a girl? And then Jay Red, I'd like to ask yes. you, how much have you uh, have you felt any different about writing for a girl as you would for a dude? So live first. Yeah. Um, uh, would you do you have an interest in, but not? I don't mean Harry. I mean yeah, anybody yeah. else in time. Would you battle a girl or not? Or what? How do you feel? Uh, I think at the moment, I definitely wouldn't because it's hard enough to do it because there's no girls here. So yeah. like, I wouldn't necessarily then want to, and also I don't want to write about a girl, I don't really want to be mean about someone else who's trying to do what I'm trying to do, and, yeah. and I'm not going to slag off someone's appearance and do all that shit, so I don't think that I would be particularly good at writing for a girl, because I kind of think girls are pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Cool, and Jay, and yeah, I mean, because we specifically set this battle up because of your style and her style, we think it's such a hilarious clash. So uh, have you approached it just like it's any opponent writing jokes, um, or have you approached it like it's a girl you're battling? No, there's parts. There's parts that I'm just doing it like as if she's just anyone, but there are like specific parts so that are like obviously I've tailored other than that. Obviously I don't want to give like yeah, nothing away, do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's different. I think it's different. probably everybody watching this would probably be slightly disappointed if you didn't have one bar about her being a girl. It'd probably, yeah, it'd nah, probably be yeah. quite a surprise if Jay Red versus Liv Winner was all just about bars, 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 bars. <laughs> And if she doesn't have anything about you being a chauvinist pig, it'd be like, fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, well, I think we're done. We're done.